Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Halo, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best secret landing spots for easy arena points. These spots are amazing for both solos and trios, so make sure you watch until the end for the best secret spots. Also, guys, before we get started, we are getting really, really close to 50k subs on the channel, so help me out by hitting that sub button. Anyway, let's get started. For the first spot in today's video, this is actually a great solo arena spot. And the amount of people that come here is practically nobody. You'll never ever see people that land here. This spot is pretty decent because it has a campfire, it has four chests and four ammo boxes with a ton of ground loot. But that's not the main thing that makes this spot really good. What makes this spot really good is because you could take a zip line down and you can grab a bunch of fuller loot and ammo boxes on the way. And then you can head down to this big log cabin down here, grab a few more floor loot, a few more ammo boxes, a chest, and a campfire. Then you can do a little bit of fishing, and then from here, you can take a boat all the way over to the Fortilla Riki Rig area. And then from there, you can take a whirlpool all the way to another whirlpool. And then from that whirlpool, you can go all the way to the Authority in less than a minute. It is like the fastest rotation that I was able to find. And this spot is super, super good for players that just want to fight absolutely nobody off spawn. So they can have really, really good end games by getting into circle nice and early. The next spot is also pretty good for solos. And it is the gas and grab over here next to Frenzy Farm. And, and this spot is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. It's like a guaranteed zero people are gonna ever come here. It has three chests, a bunch of floor loot, and this spot isn't really terrific for solos, but it is really good because of its rotation. So from here, you can actually rotate to the drop shop, which is right next to the giant whirlpool that's kind of in the mountain area. You can grab that chest, you can grab some floor loot, and you can take that whirlpool pretty much everywhere you want in the circle. And then what I like to do is from the whirlpool, I like to go down to this huge house down here. And this area is really good because you get three chests from the house, you get an ammo box, a bunch of floor loot, and then there's also some chests and campfires in the area. And this is really, really easy rotation and a decent loadout for endgame. And then finally for a trio spot, we have the Riki Rig. And on the scale of how many people go here, I would say usually one team in trios will come here almost every match. So it's pretty uncontested, but if you're confident as a trio, then it should be a pretty easy fight off spawn. This place has a reboot van, a ton of chests, a ton of ammo boxes, fishing spots, and so, so much free slurp juice. It is absolutely crazy. This next location is named Bandit Barge, and this place is great for solos. It's located pretty close to the Fortilla, and it has so much good loot. It has an insane amount of floor spawns, so you're going to be able to get a full inventory off of floor spawns. It has a total of six chests, making it pretty decent for the chest count. It has a ton of fish in the area, a ton of ammo boxes, and then max shield from the slurp juice. And this spot is really good yet again because of the whirlpools in the area. So you can go from the bandit barge all the way to a whirlpool. And then from that whirlpool, you can go to another whirlpool and another one. And you can go all the way to the authority just off of the whirlpools. So this area is really, really easy to loot. And I recommend landing here for those cash cups that are coming up very, very soon. This next spot is personally my favorite for solos and it is called Pristine Points. The upside of this place is that there is literally nobody that comes here. You might have one person every once in a while, but it is pretty clean for the most part. There is a total of six chests here with a good amount of ammo crates, but the rotation is where I actually like this spot a lot more because the chests are not enough. But what I like to do is I like to go from Pristine Point all the way down to this gas station, which has a few fish and floor spawns. And then from the gas station, you can head to the slurp van, which is down here. And then if you wanted to, you could also go to the radio station up here, which has a total of five chests. So all in all, you're getting roughly 10 chests and full shield guaranteed every time. And for the final spot on today's list, we have the most passive solo spot that I could find. 
And what's good about this spot is that you can actually slide down the mountain over to a little cottage and this area will have a few chests as well. And then you can head over to a zip line to head to another house. This house has like cabbage and a few floor spawns with a chest. And then from that house, you can take a zip line to another house. And then that house has even more chests with ammo boxes. And then after you're done with all of that, you can take a zip line to the giant whirlpool that is right there. From the whirlpool, you can take another whirlpool that is up here. And then you can head all the way to retail to rotate into zone. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, then drop a like and subscribe if you have not already. Like I said in the beginning, we're getting really close to 50K and it'd be much appreciated if we could hit it soon. Anyway, have a good rest of your day or night. And I'll see you guys all later.